Hello and welcome to episode 300 of the e-commerce coffee break podcast. Today is just me, a solo episode. I don't have a guest with me. I just want to give you a bit of an overview of what's happening with the podcast and with me and with 300 episodes, actually 320, there were a couple of bonus episodes. Um, we have reached a milestone and the podcast had about 23,000 listeners in the last four weeks. So that's more than the capacity of the Madison Square Garden in New York City. And I'm quite proud about that. And I never thought that would happen. So when I started about three years ago, um, there was just an idea of a podcast and I had no clue of what the e-commerce coffee break will become. Now we had a, a couple of hundred thousand downloads over the time. Um, so a massive number. And with that, we are now also starting to show up regularly in the top 20 of Apple podcast charts in many countries in the marketing category. That being said, in the top 20 of Apple podcast marketing means top 20 out of 17,500 podcasts in that category. And we also show up in the business category from time to time. So really making progress there and um, still improving every day, still learning every day about podcasting. Obviously, I want to get better and um, that's not an easy task. And running a podcast is not a sprint, is a marathon and results come with time. Now, for me, it's a bit of mind boggling what um, the podcast has become. And as the workload has become also more, I have a audio editor on board, Caitlin. She is on board since April and helping me with obviously the editing of the episodes, a lot of social media and other things. And she is a really rock star and her contribution, her work has really helped to get the podcast to the next level. The social media strategy has changed over time with the podcast for everyone who is interested in podcasting or also in e-commerce. So we are posting far more often. And as everyone else, I reckon out there, we are using a number of AI tools helping with that. So if you're interested what kind of tools we're using, reach out to me. I'm happy to share them. We have tested a lot of AI tools um, to come down to three or four that we're using now. And they have really helped us in increasing the number of posts that we're setting up, the frequency that we're setting up, and also in repurposing content that has been recorded over time. Plan for the next couple of months is to get better on YouTube. Now, the podcast is audio first and I want to stick with that so the podcast episodes as you know are about 20 to 30 minutes long they should be easy digestible while you're on the run while you're shopping while you're at the gym while you're doing errands or the dishes so that's the idea of the e-commerce coffee break within the podcast that you can listen to the podcast two to three times a week uh, but you don't have to sit through a one hour or 90 minute long podcast to get a few gold nuggets. I just want to make sure that this is to the point. And I think 20, 25 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes is just the right format. Let me know if you think differently. Let me know if you want to have longer episodes, um, then I will think about it. Um, but I think so far it has worked out quite nicely to come out with shorter episodes. As I said, I'm working right now in finding a YouTube strategy to attract more people to the podcast. This is more like a discovery strategy for the podcast than a retaining strategy. YouTube, as you know, is the second biggest search engine, belongs to Google, and a lot of people do searches there. Becoming a YouTuber is, YouTuber is not really my plan um, to produce videos for YouTube is just different level. Um, and it's not really what I want to focus on focus as said is the podcast. But if you prefer to listen and also view the videos on YouTube, then um, head over to YouTube, the pure audio episodes you will also find on YouTube audio or YouTube music as it is called. And that should make it easy um, if you're going for just the audio version on YouTube. Now, with the podcast, the newsletter that comes out every Thursday has grown up to six and a half thousand subscribers. So if you have not signed up for the newsletter yet, then please head over to newsletter.ecommercecoffeebreak.com and sign up there. 
it's free, comes out every week. And it basically, it's a summary of about 50 newsletters that I receive every week. Um, so I'm curating the content of the newsletter for you and try to find the most important news items of the week that might be helpful for you as a Shopify store merchant or as a DCC brand and um, it's small bits and pieces um, you should be able to read the newsletter in three to four minutes in a best case scenario and get the best out of e-commerce DTC AI entrepreneurship everything that I think might be helping you in your business with the newsletter with the podcast also I have grown the op for you to partner with the podcast and newsletter, um, become a sponsor, become an interview guest on the sponsor. So if you're interested in reaching all our listeners and the newsletter subscribers, then just reach out to me. I will be then sending you the partnership options and you can have a look if that's something that you are interested in. On the private side, um, as some of you know, I am still in Buenos Aires. I came here last year wanted to stay for a month or two and fell in love with the city and i'm still here but i'm leaving in about two weeks so i will get go back to medellin to colombia one of my favorite cities and stick around there for a couple of months before i head over to southeast asia now you might ask yourself is like what's wrong with this guy he's moving all the time so I call myself by now a slow mat, a slow nomad. So basically venturing slowly around the planet and staying in a place for a couple of months. That's a little bit different than what most digital nomads do. They are staying for four weeks and then they move on to the next one. I have done that for a time in my life, but right now I'm at a point where I have slowed down, where I want to explore and experience a place a little bit more in depth, get a better feeling about people culture, food, society, whatever happens in that country. And I think normally half a year is, is a good time span to dive into a country. I said, Buenos Aires, I was here a little bit longer than I expected and I will come back and I potentially will make Buenos Aires one of my home bases. People who know me know that I have a home base in Cape Town in South Africa, where I lived for a long time, and also in Cyprus, the island of Cyprus in the Mediterranean Sea, and Buenos Aires might be just my third home base. That being said, if you still don't know, and if you're wondering and have never met me and never heard about my stories, obviously, as you can tell from my accent, I'm originally from Germany, but I left about 20 years ago. And um, since then, I'm sort of traveling around the world and being a global citizen. That's what I see myself as. And um, I'm happy to explore more countries coming up. And the podcast and the newsletter helps me with staying busy. And that's something that I can do from wherever I am in the world. So it's a perfect match. And the next episodes then in May, you know, already will come from Medellin, will come from Colombia. And I will highlight that. And if you want to reach out and learn more about either my lifestyle or any of the destinations that I have been, also feel free to do that. I'm always happy to connect with other travelers, other people who want to explore my lifestyle, become a location independent um, citizen of the world. Just let me know. I'm happy to help there. Now, finally, a couple of things that I offer beside of the podcast, and that should not be a sales pitch here, but if you want to reach out to me about cold email outreach or e-commerce coaching, Shopify coaching in general, feel free to do so. I'm a digital marketer for almost 25 years. I'm a Shopify partner for a couple of years, Klaviyo partner running a Shopify store for about eight years. And I said, I'm doing digital marketing for so long that I'm a digital dinosaur, sort of, kind of. And um, if you want to help specifically with cold email outreach, I'm a big fan of email marketing, as you know, um, then reach out to me. I have a special offer that might help you in your business. And finally, before I say goodbye um, at this episode today, if you have any questions, I want to do a episode very soon, a listener question answer session, then please message me, either email me, leave a comment, find me on social media, you'll find me on the handle e-commerce coffee break pretty much everywhere. And um, just put your question in there. And I'm happy to pick that question up and answer it either myself on a episode, or I might even invite an expert to answer your question on the episode 
So I hope that makes all sense. I hope that gave you an overview of what the e-commerce coffee break is about and what is wrong with me traveling around the world. Um, so stay tuned. I have a couple of good episodes coming up um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, they're already recorded, so I know they're good. There are some very good experts there. And as always, if there is any kind of input and comments and critique and whatever you have, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to uh, get all of this to make the show bigger and better. That's it for now. I wish you a great day and I see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Hey, Klaus here. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Before we wrap things up, I've got a couple of important points to share. Firstly, if you have enjoyed today's episode and want to support the show, here's a simple way to do it. Help me out with that algorithm magic by liking, commenting, and subscribing on your favorite podcast app. And if you're feeling extra generous, leaving a rating would be great. Your support helps me bringing more impactful guests on the show, and it makes it easier for others to discover the podcast. Secondly, I want to talk about to all your business owners out there. Here's a question. Are you tired of juggling everything in your business while struggling with your marketing tasks? Fed up with hit and miss experiences of hiring freelancers or agencies that don't quite get your vision? But perhaps you're not ready to commit to a full-time in-house marketer just yet. Well, I've got a solution for you. Introducing our fractional marketing team. My team and I provide top-notch experienced marketing professionals to become an extension of your business. Not only will they save you up to 50% on cost compared to traditional hires, but they also take care of all this time-consuming, repetitive and complex marketing tasks that have been holding you back. And this way, you can concentrate on what truly matters, the core of your business. To learn more about how we can help you to scale up your online sales with a fractional team member, head over to our website, smart-ecommerce-marketing.com, or reach out to me directly and I'll get you the details. You will find the links in the show notes. Thanks for being a part of our podcast community and remember your support means the world to me. Until next time, see you then.